dear students we are going to discuss about how to draw a title block in autocad software when you open your autocad software a screen will be displayed to like this here your grid is been on for that first i have to switch off my grid for that i am going to use your shortcut as f7 when you press your f7 your grid will be off your first command whenever you open your autocad software you have to use your units you have to set your units for your autocad software type it on your command bar units u n i t s press enter a dialog box will be opening here you are going to set your precision as 0.00 and your unit as millimeters then press okay after that we are going to set your page limit for that your command will be limits on your command bar type limits l i m i t s enter it will be asking your lower left corner your lower left corner will be always 0, 0,0 press enter and it will be asking for your right top corner since we are going to use your a3 sheet your dimension will be 420,297 for an a3 sheet press enter your third command we are going to use to is zoom you are going to zoom your entire screen for that your command will be zoom z double o m enter since we are zooming your entire screen so i am going to press a because your all indicates your entire screen a and press enter your next command will be o snap o s n a p your shortcut for your o snap command is o s just press enter a dialog box will be opening here in this object snaps tab all your checkbox should be selected and press okay see this four command should be done for all your autocad images when you have been starting your drawing okay first i am going to draw my a3 sheet for that i am going to bring your reference image to you for that i am going to use your command image attach i am going to select my image click open here i am going to select no path and i am going to specify your ratio as 0.6 okay just i moved over here and i placed your cursor over here now you can able to see i have get an a3 a3 sheet your dimension in x direction is 420 and your y direction is 297 the margin on your left direction is 20 your top is 10 mm your right and your bottom is 10 mm first i am going to draw a box of 420 comma 297 as of your a3 sheet for that first i am going to change your line thickness for that over here by layer click it over here go for your line settings see to that this line display line weight is been checked in and press okay for your border i am going to select 0.5 mm thickness line i just clicked your line button over here and i moved to your screen and i just placed your first click over here and i moved it see i am getting an inclined line so if you need only a straight line you have to use ortho on for that your shortcut is f8 when you press your f8 you will be getting only your straight lines so uh, i just moved your mouse to your x direction and i have typed 420 enter and i moved your y direction it is 297 enter see it has been above your screen visibility area so i have just rolled down your mouse roller so it will be under your visible limit just to move to your x direction and type 420 and once again move to your y direction and type 297 enter then press escape now see this is a a3 sheet which we are going to draw the diagram so now in order to familiar for your window what i am going to do is once again i am going to use your zoom enter and i am going to zoom only a specific window for that your shortcut is w enter first i will be placing a mouse click over here and move to your mouse I'll, a box will be opened so i'll be just making my second click over here so now the window is being clearly visible to you next for the border i am going to make your line thickness as 0.30 first i have just clicked your line and i move to your this bottom corner see when you select any intersection edges your pointer automatically changes into a square shape of a green color first i clicked over here and move to your x direction 20 your left margin is 20 then i move to your y direction see on your bottom on your top we have 10 mm 10 mm so total height is 297 so i have reduced 20 mm my dimension will be 277 enter i have just moved to your x direction see on your left side we have 20 on your right side we have 10 so total is 420 so 420 minus 30 it will be 390 enter and i have just moved to your down direction 
once again I have to enter 277 I'm sorry it is 267 then I move to your X direction once again it will be over here see I got my intersection point so I just clicked over here press escape button see I have a line which has been over here so for that what I am going to do is I am going to select your trim button and I just select this line the line will be trimmed away now so this outer border is your A3 sheet and this inner border is your margin of your A3 sheet now next I am going to draw your title block for your title block what I am going to do is I am going to change your line thickness as 0.20 mm ok so first your title block for your reference uh, I am going to bring your title block image over here so what I am going to do is I am going to first delete this image once again I am going to use your image attach once again I am going to use image attach and I am going to open your second image where you will be getting a title block dimension open once again here I am going to select no path your dimension will be 0.6 okay. I have just moved over here I have just played see over here we have 150 in your x direction and your 60 in your y direction ok so first I am going to just click my line button from here I have to move to your mouse on your y direction I have just typed 60 then I move to your horizontal it will be 150 enter and once again it will be 60 enter and escape now I marked your title block overall dimension now I am going to zoom I have to do everything only in this title block for that what I am going to do is so I have to get your title block image over here for that once again I am going to just select this image and delete I am going to bring your image attach command once again to bring your title block image I have just opened your title block image so I am going to specify your screen size as uh, once again 0.6 no path and clicked ok so now over here I am going to place it so it will be easy for us for uh, visibility now once again the entire diagram will be drawn only in this window for that I am going to use your once again your command zoom enter window enter I have just clicked your first corner and your second corner see over here I got 10 mm lines on your title block so what I have to do is first I have to change your line thickness I am going to change your line thickness as uh, uh, once again 0.20 only from here first I click the point over here move to your y direction 10 enter move to your x, di x direction 150 enter escape ok inside I have a 5 mm lines so what I have to do is once again I am going to change your line thickness as 0.05 mm your line thickness is 0.05 mm or 0.9 mm that is up to your wish ok now I am going to select your 0.09 mm first I have just placed your point over here move to your x direction 2.5 move to your y direction sorry x direction 150 enter on your y direction 5 enter and 150 enter and I have pressed escape see now I have drawn this line the same line should be repeated for your six times so for that what I have to do is I have to use your copy command first what I have to do is zoom your window ok just zoom your window so that it will be easy for us so first once again I am going to use your command zoom window w enter I have just clicked over here and clicked over here so I have just zoomed your window so it will be easy for us for visibility first select your four lines I have just selected your four lines and I have just clicked your copy command ok now see it has been asking for your base point this corner will be my base point ok then I have moved it first click once again I have moved it second click third fourth see now we have just generated your lines which has been easy for us ok next once again see we have an trim the lines for this area for that see it has been 30 mm and your dimension is 60 mm on your x direction so what for that what I have to do is first I have to click your line from here I have to just select 60 
okay and i have selected 40 on your y direction press enter okay now i used your trim command to trim your entire curves which has been present just after selecting your trim i have just selecting your lines only so automatically your content has been trimmed clear everybody now after completing a trim press escape okay so first it is asking for a drawing title so for that what i have to use is i am going to use your text command okay so first i have just clicked your text and it is asking for your specify your first corner i have just moved outside i have just clicked it okay next i have to specify your height for that here i have to press your click as h enter my text height is 5 so i have to type 5 and enter okay and it will be asking to click your next corner so i just moved it and i have just clicked your next corner okay so your drawing title for an example my drawing title is title block t i so i have to caps lock on t i t l e title block b l o c k okay after completing your title block uh, content press enter okay if you have two or three lines you have to press enter otherwise you just press escape okay now see i have your title block okay now i have to move your title block from here to this point for that i have just clicked your title block and i have centered your select your move button i just placed a click over here so your block will be moving see it will be moving only on your x and y direction because we have your ortho on so we have to move on an inclined direction also for that first i have offed your ortho now it can be able to move see i have just zoomed in and i placed over here on your center of your okay so next name i'm going to type your name so for that here just once again click your text specify your first corner you have to specify your height here already your height has been 5 mm so i have just typed 5 and i'm going to type your name okay so your name will be i have to just type name space semicolon a space i'm going to type my name okay after completing it press escape and you say yes okay your next your register number once again, I am going to select your text. Okay. I have to specify your first corner. You have check your height. It has been 5 mm. Press enter. And you have specify your output. My register number. For an example, I have given my register number as then I will just press your escape and I say yes then it has been asking for your scale since I am not using uh, actual scale over here so I am going to type your scale as 1 is to 1 ok once again I have just typed your text and place my first click and I have checked my height as it has been 5 mm 5 enter and I have just clicked my opposite corner it will be scale S C A L E S C A S C A L E it is 1 is to 1 press escape and you say yes next once again your text first click move your mouse your height as 5 mm set your height as 5 ok your date you are going to type your date over here date today's date is 18 12 2022 press escape and yes your last i'm going to type your sentence all dimensions are in m once again i've just clicked your text 
first point move your mouse press your h enter your text as h as 5 enter ok now you specify your opposite corner I am going to type all dimensions are in mm all dimensions are in mm ok after completing this once again you press escape and you ok now I have to move your entire content inside your title block ok for that first I am going to select uh, these things move bit closer to your title block ok once again I am use your zoom window z enter I am going to have a window so w enter from here I am going to just click it and I have to zoom it so it will be easy for us for moving ok so first what I am going to do is I am going to select my name and I am going to click my move my base point is over here I am going to just select my base point and I just moved it and place it over here ok your next once again I have selected my register number and I click my move button I have selected my base point I just moved it see I just have a projection see it has been on your same line can you able to view it next I have selected your scale once again move I have selected my base point I just place it over here ok your next I have selected your date I have just clicked your move button once again I have selected your base point and I have just moved it placed ok your last your all dimensions are in mm see a intersection line has been over here for that I want to just click your trim I just cut this line ok press escape now once again I have selected your dimension all dimensions are in mm and I have clicked your move and I have selected your base point and I just moved it ok so I just uh, placed your content on your title block once again I have just uh, rolling your center mouse roller so to view your title block see we are using your first angle dimension for that we are going to draw your first angle dimension diagram for that I have to draw two circles ok so first I have just clicked your circle ok so I just uh, make a center I am going to say my it has been asking your radius of your circle I am going to draw your outer radius as 15 mm I am sorry it has been over exit limit so I just uh, deleted the circle which I have drawn once again I have just clicked your circle I am going to draw a circle for 8 mm ok once again I selected your circle I am going to draw your inner circle so it is 4 mm enter ok now I have to draw your line so just I zoomed it first I have just clicked your line button over here I just take your reference you can see a construction line has been now generated I just placed a click over here once again I moved it so I have an incline line so once again I have on my ortho so once again I am taking a reference from this point so I will be just clicking I will be getting a line ok next once again I have pressed escape and I just clicked your line I just placed over here and I just moved on your x direction I have just made a click over here once again I take a reference from this point ok this into mark indicates your reference then once again I have just clicked your line from here I have joined this point escape once again line this point to this point escape so now your first angle projection has been drawn next I have to just delete this image ok after that I am going to use your zoom enter a enter now you can see students I have drawn your a3 sheet and I have drawn your margin and I have just drawn your title block and I have filled your contents on your title block ok uh, on your next lecture we will be discussing about how to draw an ellipse in AutoCAD software thank you thank you all